Hello everyone. Well, I'm feeling old and ugly and fat. So what better way to boost my confidence than to go on YouTube in the glare of the public who have always got something nice to say. Anyway, I don't care because here in this box next to me, I've got something that's going to turn me from this old, ugly, fat mong into a beautiful, gorgeous, tanned, muscular hunk. Shall we see what this remarkable piece of equipment is? I think we shall. Well, here is this remarkable piece of equipment. It's a total crunch. Yes, it sounds like a, a nutty, chewy chocolate bar, but no, it's a heap of black metal. And the reason I thought I better get it open, because believe it or not, I've had this, well, nearly a year, very nearly a year. In fact, I've found the invoice and it's dated the 31st of March, 2017. So this has been in the uh, study upstairs like this for a whole year and so today when i when i'm just feeling you know uh, spring is not quite sprung it's trying to spring but it's you know we've just had snow and we get a bit of sun five minutes of sun and then it goes in thank you chemtrails but anyway so i thought oh i can either lounge about on the sofa all day eating watching YouTube and now TV or I could open this total crunch assemble it get on it for five minutes and then go back to me food and sofa anyway I could do with somewhere to hang me clothes so let's have a look oh dear so have you bought one of these do you want me to give you a guide of how to put it together? Well, don't watch this video because no doubt I'll start screaming and swearing. I am normally quite good at putting things together, to be honest. Uh, I'm the king of flat pack. Only yesterday I put together four dining table, four dining chairs and a dining table from Habitat and they look very nice too. That was relatively simple. They weren't in so many pieces as this Total Crunch. Now, I got this from Home Shopping Channel, Ideal World. You know, the sort of channel you watch when you're lounging on the sofa, stuffing your face, and you see all these fit bodies pumping away, getting all energised, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I could do with a bit of that. Oh. Anyway, here's the handle. Once this is assembled, though, that's it. Well, it probably I can probably um, take it to the RSPCA shop. You see, I've got no, I haven't got any confidence that this is going to be <laughs> something I use. I'm not sure if that's just uh, oh, remove before assembly. I think we get rid of that. So there's a handle there with some nice sort of grip. Yeah. So I'm thinking I might give this a go. See how long it lasts. I even have the um, notion of, of setting up a gym inside my garage when my garage is empty. But, well, I thought, well, start off slower, Rog. See if you can get used to using this thing and then spend a thousand pounds on gym equipment. But don't do it yet. Now, oh, there's Daisy in the background. So we've got a nice sort of um, leather look seat. Nice bit of orange um, trim there. Well, we'll never get all this off, this packaging. Can you tell, tell you what, folks, because I think this video is going to go on for absolutely ages. Hello, Daisy May, my lovely little girl. I'll just empty all this out, put it all in front of the camera, and we'll try and put it together like a big jigsaw puzzle. Well, here it is, uh, all the bits and bobs. It's not as daunting as I was expecting, to be honest. So, uh, <laughs> it's rather, rather thick construction book though. Oh, it's okay, there's a lot of foreign in it. Made in China, Kel Surprise, right. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> I am normally good at following instructions, but if you oh, skip a page, as I sometimes do by mistake, you, uh, you get into a right old pickle, don't you? So, oh no, I don't need to see how it works. I need to assemble the thing. Oh, right. Step one, set the main supporter and back supporter level. 1A and 1B. Fit the cushion. 
You can adjust its position as your convenience. Mmm. As per your convenience. Right, so set the main supporter and back supporter level. 1A and 1B. Right, hang on. Oh, heck. This is going to be a comedy of errors, I think, folks. Anyway, strap yourself in. We could be in for a bumpy ride. This is the main doobry. Set it level. I don't even know where. Pull that bit off. All right, hang on. Oh, how are you doing anyway? You all right, folks? You must be bored if you're watching this. Blimey. Yeah, it's the same with YouTube. You just flick through and watch any old tap, don't you? Anyway, that's good for me. It's good for all of us creators <laughs> that produce such a load of tat. But there's always, there's always an audience for tat. That's what I think. There's always someone willing to watch someone else. And, and then it makes you feel better. You think, well, at least I'm not making a video of me assembling some bloody exercise equipment. I'm not that sad. What a saddo. And you go away feeling a lot happier about your own life. And that's, that's the purpose of my channel, this channel anyway, just to make you see how pathetic I am and how, you know, good you are compared to it. Right, 1A and 1B. Um, where is the bit? Right, this is the bit here. I hope you're not really following this if you bought this thing because... <laughs> uh, oh, heck. Hang on. Right, hang on a minute. Does look like a... A piece of torture or the ducking stool. Do you remember the ducking stool? Do you, well, some of you might have even been in it if you were witches. Something I remember learning about at school. They used to put witches in it, I think, um, in the, you know, in the village, in the village pond that had a ducking stool and there was a seat on the end and they used to duck the witch into the pond and if she drowned, she wasn't a witch. And if she didn't drown, she was a witch and then she was burnt. Yeah, well, we didn't have internet or telly back then, so they had to make their own amusements. Now, of course, there's no need to leave your seat to abuse folk. You just troll on the internet. Oops. <laughs> oh, dearly me. Right, I've got a washer here on this seat. Right, look, you can adjust the seat for to accommodate your belly. You see, that's good. So, of course, as you get to use this machine and your belly gets less bulging and more flat, and then, of course, you'll get six-pack abs like they promise, then you'll, you can move the seat according. I don't know if that's on the right way yet. Um, it doesn't really show you. It doesn't even show you where I put the old uh, washer. Set the main, fit the cushion. It just says fit the cushion, but which way does the cushion go, folks? Um, I'm not, I think, hang on, I don't, I, I'm going to try for this, I'll try for this way, and if it's, if it's not right, um, I've, already, I've already scratched the uh, lovely paintwork, if it's not right, then I'll have to redo it, won't I? I think the washer goes there. So here we are, fitting the cushion. La, there we go. So I won't tighten it fully, but there we go. That's the cushion that's adjustable. So, thumb up for that bit. Now, what's next, folks? Da, 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 fit the cushion. I've adjusted it as per my convenience. Right, oh dear. Connect vertical pipe 2A, 2B and 2C. Right, 2A, 2B or not to be? That is the question. Let's pop that to one side. Oh, nearly trapped me in finger in it. Nearly said a rude word then. Oh, I don't. I don't swear. We're not a swearing channel. We're a family show. Uh, now then, <laughs> two A. I think two A. Uh, two A is the handlebar, and two B is the the pedal things. There. I've got the whole outfit to wear for this, you know. Yeah, I've had that a year too. I've got special trainers, shorts, a clingy top. Um, something else, can't remember. Anyway, I've got the whole caboodle. So 2A goes into... Oh, heck. Well, this is, this is 2C. Total crunch. Oh, 
Well, you could certainly kill someone with that. If I was to someone try to break into my house, I could grab that. Not when it's attached, of course. Never mind. They'd have trouble getting to me anyway up upstairs in my bedroom on the third floor, second floor. Or is it the third? They'd have to trip over a load of vacuum cleaners first. They'll, they'd probably run out screaming, thinking, oh, this isn't normal. This isn't normal, this isn't normal. I'm not normal. I, I freely admit that I'm a nutcase, uh, freely. Look, folks, All right, I think that goes that way. And then according to the do thing, I think they go in there. That's the pedal things at the bottom where it says total crunch. And at the top, we put the handlebar thing. Ah, oh, but which way? Oh, the instructions are awful. See, they, they, they can either go that way or that way. Um, I don't know, how do you do it? I think it's, ooh, uh, is it this way? No, it feels better this way, folks. Let's see if there's a picture of it. Yeah, I think this is what you have to do, you see. You pull it in this way and your ass goes up like this. Woo! This is basically what it's gonna look like. There, a little sneak peek. Right, I'm just gonna screw all the nuts and bolts and then see what's next. So that's the handle connected to the top of whatever this was called, this main bit, and it's secured with these three screws and washers. Then this vertical piece goes through the hole here, just under the handlebars. There's a, a screw hole you need to line up and then using the same screw and washer as you've used to assemble all the previous parts. I just have to pop it down so I can see the hole. Pop it in, we'll tighten it by hand first, hopefully. Yes, that's in. And then we'll finish off using the spanner provided. Tighten that up, right. There we are. Okay, it's coming, coming together quite nicely. Well, true to form, I've missed a stage, but fortunately it's not going to matter. Um, Goodbye, I've just had a delivery. I can't wait to show you what it is. I will, probably. I can't believe the size of the box. I know what's in the box. And no, it's not a vacuum cleaner. Well, it's, it's a cleaning implement. But the box, I could bury myself in it. Right, I need to put these feet things on. Um, now, they are different, but it seems fairly obvious which way they go in. Oh, Daisy, you're excited. You can only put them in one way because there's a screw hole here and at the front and two at the side. And I'm assuming, well, I've got three. Oh, right, I've got three of these shorter screws and washers, which I think, let me check. Yes, right, these are the ones for the front, the three shorter ones, if you can see what I'm doing. So one goes in there. Or I'm getting all excited about being all energised and pumped up. Hey, yeah, I can't wait. Again, we'll tighten them by hand first, just to make sure we don't cross thread. It's always another tip I picked up for my dear late father. When screwing, um, always do it by hand first, just to make sure. And if it goes in easily by hand, you know you've not cross-threaded anything because if you cross-head a screw then you can uh, for want of a better word knacker it I don't know if you know what that means in America I don't know if you have the word knacker but to knacker something or if you say something's knackered basically means it's broken now do those stay on there's two sort of bits um, I'm not sure if these are just for ooh, oh, it's for, oh listen <laughs> I might need a bit of WD-40 on that. Oh, hey, I don't know if I'm supposed to take these bits off here. Um, or are they just for, for protection? Um, well, well, we'll see. No, they're just, for, they're just for protection, folks. So you can discard these two rubbery, plasticky things. And mm, this could go in either way, but I don't think it matters. And this one is secured by the two longer nuts and bolts 
Uh, it might be better if I turn it over, try not to trap my fingers in anything. That's it, that's better for you, isn't it? You can see what I'm doing if you're interested. Right. I think it goes that way. Well, it certainly goes that way because of the flat bit there, which you want against the floor. So, yes, bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. It's a nice word. Yes, it's... Uh, oh, hang on. Is that... There's something... That's, it's not going in, folks. Oh, bollocks, as they say. Now, don't you children be going saying that to your mummy and daddy, because it's a naughty word. But you shouldn't be watching this anyway, if you're a child. It's not for kids. Oh, something's wrong here, folks. I, I must be doing something wrong. Perhaps it does go that way, but then... Hmm... Oh, it, oh, it is gripping. Oh, but they, those move around, so I think it goes this way. Because I was getting nothing. It wasn't gripping at all. Unlike this video, which I'm sure you're finding extremely gripping and exciting. Will he, won't he? Is he going to get it assembled? When he gets his fat bottom on the seat, will it collapse with the weight? Will it end up gathering dust in the corner of his bedroom? The answer to all these questions and more will be answered in a future video. Right, so that's on. I'll just have to turn these as per. Right, so that's the main doobie put together. Well, that's it. Um, and it's got the stabilising feet on it. And we've got this bit here. We can't quite see it. This bit here, this appendage. It's still hanging loose, so obviously we need to attach something to it. And then we've got the seat that goes up and down. Oh, it's going to be like, it's going to be like, the, oh, I haven't been on a seesaw in years. Do you remember seesaws, folks? Oh, I used to like a good seesaw. When I was sad and pathetic, which is basically now as well, but I was sad and pathetic as a child, and I had no one to go on the other end of the seesaw, it was possible to kind of seesaw yourself. And I think this is basically what this is going to be. A seesaw for singles. Oh, never mind. Right, hang on. Back to the instruction booth. Okay, so everything is assembled. So now I've got to connect the main body and vertical pipe. Oh. And it's gone well so far. It's gone well. I'm left with um, a nut and a bolt. Well, two nuts and bolts. Well, I think that's it. Well, that must be easy then. Famous last words. Right, which way does this go on? Right. Oh. Ooh, I feel fitter already just assembling it. I've got a sweat on. Ooh, heck. <laughs> it's going to make... <laughs> that is... It's not my bones making that noise, I can assure you. <laughs> it's quality equipment from Ideal World. Now, <laughs> is it this way, Roger? It has to be that way. It has to be this way. Can you see what I'm doing, folks? I think I'm supposed to get this into here look can you see what i'm doing there and then there's another hole here which ah oh, there's a just down here there look so that that goes into there well that's simple enough isn't it so which bolts go where folks let's have a look at the instructions um uh, 12 times one bolt number 12 oh it's not very there's bolt number 11, 11 and 12 left, right. 12 is the longer belt, belt bolt. So 12 goes into two. Ooh, this, is, this is bolt 12 according to the instructions. And that goes, where does it go, Roger? Oh, it's still not very clear. I think 12 goes here. Yes, because, yes, yes it does. Right, you put bolt 12 here, look. Can you see? Now, does the, does the, I always wonder where the washers go sometimes, unless they're, because it doesn't even show the washer. So I never, sometimes I don't know, does the washer go here? Oh, I'm getting mucky. Does the washer go there, or does it go the other side? Well, I'll, I'll put it that side. Just pop it through the holes, the hole on the frame, and then the hole in the middle of the 
piece with the handlebars on. There we are. Um, mm, no, hang on, I'm going to put the, I might have done it wrong, but I'm going to put the washer, the bolt, the nut side. So, there we are. Any of my regular viewers, I will be, at some point, still be doing that Sega thing. I did start making the video and I, well, it wasn't very good, so my confidence went and I just left it. But um, I will be doing a cookery section. I've got all the ingredients to make coffee kisses, but I've veganized the recipe. Ah, oh, that's why you need two. You get two of these, and you need two because you need to hold one of them with the, well, the one spanner while you're tightening up the nut. Yes, so I've got all the ingredients I need for the coffee kisses and I'm, I've veganized it, but you can make it non-vegan. The only thing you need to do to veganize it is replace the egg. You can use butter in the buttercream or you can use um, marge or sunflower spread. Um, but the egg you can't really replace. So I bought this egg replacer, so I don't know what it'd be like, but it'd be interesting. And I might be using a vintage Kenwood Chefette to make them. Depends if it needs, oh, what's gone wrong here? Oh, hang on. Now I've got to get this bit here somehow. Oh, there we are. Oh, heck, that doesn't look, that doesn't look right at all, Roger. Hang on, oh, I don't know. That doesn't, there's something wrong. Oh, is that how it goes? Well, I'm gonna go for it. Just put it, just, just do it. Hang on. I'm just gonna have to mount it. Oh, heck. Knew that had happened. Right, here we are, got this smaller one, and that's got to go through here, look, and through the loose bit. I, oh, I've had to take, I, as I said, I've just taken in a, a huge package, um, but then, just as I started filming again, the chappy, who, who seems to live here, <laughs> he's always delivering here, um, he had a parcel for the house over the road, so I took it in, being the good neighbour. They've taken in a few for me in the past, so it's nice to turn the favour sometimes. I'm at home a lot more than I used to be, so I'm normally in for deliveries. So again, we need the two spanners. Yes, I'm at home because I had a nervous breakdown at work and my doctor said, well, you can't possibly work there 35 hours a week. It's just doing your head in, young fella, my lad. Actually, no, that isn't the truth. I don't go to doctors. Uh, right, there we are. I think that's done, but something... I'm sure, I'm sure I've done something wrong here. Yeah, <laughs> there's something definitely, I think, wrong with my... You see that? Unless that's what... Does, that's can't... Oh, perhaps that's all it moves. Look, I thought it would have a bit more range of movement than that. Well, you, can, you could use that like a catabar. I could put a boulder or a bowling ball on the seat, couldn't I? And they go, Foo! Right, I'm going to hitch up my pants. I must have lost some weight because I haven't got a belt on. I'm having to pull my pants up. But I don't know if this is right. Um, oh! I can't see this being correct um, because uh, I, what have I done wrong? I can, hang on, I better see how to get onto this. I don't think there's not a picture of it. Where is the picture of it assembled? Hang on, folks. I can't. I can't understand what I've done wrong here. I can't be right. There. That's what it should look like. The seat, the seat's there. Um, well, no, it looks like the picture. How do you get on it? Sit directly on the device and hold firmly onto the handlebar. Apply resistance with your legs. Perhaps I need to move the, um, the doobie. Oh, move that forward. I'm only a little boy. No. <laughs> this can't be correct. I can't even get me. 
Hang on, I'm going to sit on it. Uh, Ecky thump. No. Uh, what am I... <laughs> oh no! Oh, I can't even move the... Hang on, I can't... What have I done wrong? <laughs> I better pause and have a look at the instructions again because this ain't right. Right folks, sorry for wasting your time. You can basically disregard most of the video. <laughs> it took me a while to work it out. I've, um, I've put these on the wrong end and it does matter. So the actual pedals, they need to go on the end nearest this bar thing. So basically all I've got to do is take off the handlebars here take off the pedals and swap them well at least that's sorted right i have done it now so that was the problem i'd uh, i put the handlebars on the wrong way so hopefully you've watched the whole video before starting to assemble yourself or you'll be cursing me now but i don't think anybody will be watching this to try and assemble this now oh <laughs> no you slide off you see uh, your bottom slides off if you're not careful. So you've got to, ecky thump. You've got, I don't know how you're supposed to get on this thing without your, how are you supposed to do it? Hang on, this is a bit ridiculous. All right, I'm on it, I'm on. We have lift off, there we go. Oh, so, wee! Oh, yes, this is very good. Oh, I can, I can feel my heart pumping. Oh, crikey, yes. Now it'd be even better when I've got my trainers on and I've got all my kit. Oh, where can I do? I think that's enough. Oh, yes, it's quite. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bad and cowboy. I went on one of those um, mechanical bulls once, you know. <laughs> and I, I made the mistake of strapping myself in. I got my hands under these straps, and of course, well, I got flung off quite quickly. He was a rather nasty gypsy type man with the controls and he thought oh I'll show this I'll show this Nancy boy so this Nancy boy went a cropper didn't he anyway I put a curse on the bloke he didn't survive the week right so here we go yeah the total crunch you can go really fast like this <laughs> my poor heart now I think you can put your your bits on oh yeah this is for harder oh it'll be better with the shoes on this bar here oh oh that, that's good that's good ouch <laughs> oh let's have a look at the uh, different positions i can get myself into well this uh oh there we go that's how you get on it you get on it with the seat in the lowest position you mount it then you pop your feet on the pedals that's it and then you do the old pulling and apparently you can adjust your the position of your hands you can have them down here i think that works another part of the body oh i can see this you know being quite uh, effective it's like an all body workout isn't it mm. i think you can do it like this too if you want sort of maybe oh, no, i'm not sure possibly like this that feels like it's working my pectorals Back in my youth, I had a, a weight bench, you know, and I had free weights and a rowing machine. And uh, three times a week, in my bedroom of a night, I used to do all my physical jerks. And then I used to take a cocktail of different coloured pills and uh, some sort of a protein shake. But it, uh, I don't think, I didn't get muscle, well, I, you know, I got a bit defined. Um, but I did get, get high on the buzz because I didn't really want to do it, but I knew afterwards, after the workout, I was sort of a bit sort of weak and shaky, but it was a good feeling. So it was worth doing. Oof. But I'm approaching a big birthday. Uh, is it next year? Next year. And I don't want to approach that big birthday feeling old. I want to be young and fit and vigorous. I am quite fit. I can talk to you now. I can still, you can, I can be doing this. Sweat is pouring from my brow, but I'm still managing 
to converse with you good people. Oof. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay, folks. Well, I think that'll do. I might do another video. I will do another video. I'll get all my proper stuff on. Oof. I'll get all my gear on for you folks. Some of you might appreciate that. There's a few little strange folk out there that might like to see me in a, a skin tight uh, top and shorts, possibly. Anyway, if it gets me views and subscribers, I don't care, I'll prostitute myself for anyone. So, there we go, that's how you assemble a total crunch. And so far, yes, actually it didn't squeak, did it? When it was assembled, it lost the squeak, but I expect from time to time, a little bit of WD-40 won't go amiss. If you have any questions or comments or abuse you'd like to hurl at me, do it below, thumb me up, subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon for another random video of nonsense. Bye for now. Hang on a minute, I nearly forgot my parcel. Look, look at this. Oh, heck. Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh! Oh, if this is from Amazon. Right. Oh, the size of this box. Hang on. This will be interesting. Oh, crikey. Whew. What do you think's in here, folks? It is, I could almost get in this box, almost. In fact, I might keep it because it would be an ecological funeral. I'm sure if I was in the uh, fetal position, I could curl up in here. Can you guess what it is? It's, it's exciting and thrilling. Oh. Amazon. You'll never believe what's in this huge box, folks. <laughs> Look at that! It's a broom! A little, a broom handle. And here's the base of it. Now I broke the broom this week, uh, the kitchen broom. I was just sweeping snow off the um, garden furniture and it just buckled. I wasn't using any pressure and I don't really use a broom, but uh, er indoors, him indoors does, because he's an old fashioned type. I use a vacuum, of course, because it's 2018, but <sighs> this would be quite good actually. I just went on Amazon, typed in broom and sorted them by average customer review and this came out nearly top. It's very thin so I can get down all the sides of places which is good. Even if I do vacuum I can just sweep stuff into the middle of the room. So there you go, a bonus unboxing for you. A Vileda broom packed in a box I could be buried in. Right, I am going now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.